purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to upload a PDF up to the Google Sites platform. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that on the Google Sites area I have navigated to my PDF page because this is where I want to place that PDF file. Furthermore, I'm going to click to open up Google.com and I'm going to search for iFrame Generator. Now when these results come back, I'm going to click on this first one that's called Online iFrame Generator. You'll notice that there are some other ones that you can test, but I'm going to click on this one. And when the page opens up, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. And my main focus is this area that says iFrame URL because that's where I'm going to paste the link for my PDF file. So at this point I'm going to open up my library folder and my goal here is to make sure that I've uploaded the PDF file to Dropbox. So when I click on Dropbox I have this section and it reads public. So I'm going to double click to open it and I've already pasted my particular PDF in this public area. I'll tell you this is the easiest thing for me to do because I don't have to worry about whether or not the person has access to the PDF file that I desire to share with them. So in this case, the first thing I'm going to do is right click on that particular file name for that PDF and clearly I can see on Dropbox that it says copy public link. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to close this particular screen and I'm going to go back to this iframe generator and I'm going to paste the link to that particular PDF file and the last thing I'll do is generate iframe. Once that occurs, I get the little snippet of code. So I'm going to highlight all of that and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to return at this time to the Google Sites page. So I'm going to click on this. And since I've already landed on the page that I want to place that particular PDF file, the next thing that I'm going to do is to click on this edit page and this is going to give me the opportunity to take a look at this standard toolbar and I'm going to click on HTML in order to edit and right here before this area I'm just going to paste the code that I just received from the iframe generator and then I'm going to click update now at this point I have a general idea of the size of the gadget but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to click Save so you can see what this looks like. For this file, it looks like it's to the point where I can't see much of anything that's going on. So I'm going to go back in, I'm going to click on Edit Pencil. So I can see that the file uploaded, but it's too small for me to see. So I'm going to go back to the pencil in order to edit the page. And this is what I recommend that you do as well so that you have an idea um, of how you want it to look. And if it doesn't meet your criteria, all you have to do is just click in that particular gadget area, select the gear by clicking it. And when this comes up, I'm going to just say make it about 800 pixels wide. And the height, I'm going to make that 900. When I click OK, I'm going to save again and I want to see what this looks like and I can see that I can see this information a lot more clearly on my page and you'll notice that it automatically adds in the scroll bar. Furthermore, if I decide that I want to make other modifications like center this particular PDF, I can return back to edit page. Here I can click on that particular gadget select the gear and the first thing is if I wanted to change the pixels I could modify it here but I'm done with that so let me go back and hit cancel because my goal is to center it so I'm going to click it and all you have to do is this is centered to the left here is centering to the middle and you can align it over to the right so align left align center align right but I'm going to stick with the center once I save it, I'll notice that that particular PDF has been uploaded and now 
the visitors can scroll through and see the information from that particular file.